Hello, everyone. I'm Wen Qiang from Hunan University. It's my pleasure to present our paper, Private, Efficient, and Accurate, Protecting Models Trained by Multi-Party Learning with Differential Privacy here. This is joint work with Ming Xin Xu, Wei Li Han from Hunan University, Wen Jingfang, Li Wang, Lei Wang from Ant Group. Machine learning is used in various areas and has led to many breakthroughs. For example, it can be used for credit scoring and intelligent diagnosis. The outstanding performance of machine learning comes from a large amount of data. With more training data, the trained, model would, the trained models would be better. However, many data for training machine learning models are, are private data. This private data cannot be directly exchanged among companies to train machine learning models. Secure multi-party learning, referred to as MPL, means methods, frameworks, and the platforms that enforce privacy-preserving machine learning based on secure multi-party computation. It's an important technology to utilize data from multiple parties with privacy preservation. It enables multiple parties to perform secure training and the secure inference of machine learning models without directly leveraging their plain text data. As parties only exchange encrypted data with each other, MPL can rigorously ensure the data privacy of the model training process. However, by exploiting the overfitting character of ML models, adversaries can infer the membership of one data point with the, with the only access to the trained model. As these attacks on machine learning models are missed by the security model of secure multi-party computation, they cannot be defended by existing MPL frameworks. In this paper, we try to enhance the privacy of MPL by combining it with differential privacy. We aim to provide a rigorous security guarantee for the training process and a competitive privacy guarantee for training results at the same time. Such that we can prevent attackers from inferring the membership of one data point for the models trained by MPL. In order to combine MPL with differential privacy, we face three tactic challenges. The first challenge is about privacy. We should modify the training process of MPL to ensure that the output model has a differential privacy guarantee. The second challenge is about efficiency. Training an accurate model with existing MPL frameworks requires a large amount of time to complete the training process. How to improve the efficiency of MPL from the perspective of the training process is a big challenge. The third challenge is about accuracy. For deep neural network models, differential privacy noise will cause significant accuracy loss. We should reduce the accuracy loss led by the noise of differential privacy. To resolve the above challenges, we propose PEA, which consists of a secure DPSGD protocol and the two optimization methods. At first, we propose a secure DPSGD protocol to integrate the DPSGD algorithm in six sharing based MPL frameworks. After that, we propose two optimization methods. The first one is the data independent future extraction method. It improves the model training efficiency and reduces the accuracy loss brought by differential privacy by separating the future extraction and the classification model training. The second one is the local data-based global model initialization method. It utilizes the local data held by each party to initialize an accurate global model. Before presenting our uh, security DPSGD protocol, I first introduced two key steps of the DPSGD algorithm. It has two extra steps compared with regular SGD. Firstly, DPSGD clips gradients to ensure that the L2 norms of all gradients are smaller than a constant C. Concretely, we need to securely divide C by the L2 norm of each gradient and compare the calculation results with one to decide wider clipping results. Secondly, DPSGD add random noise sampled from a given Gaussian distribution to perturb gradients. Therefore, in order to implement DPSGD based on six sharing protocols, it is necessary to securely compute the inverse of square root and securely generate Gaussian noise. I first introduce our secure inverse of square root protocol. The existing solution used use a two-order polynomial to efficiently approximate the target function. However, its approach error might destroy the privacy guarantee of DPSGD. For example, given a gradient SI whose L2 norm is slightly larger than C, that is, C over L2 norm of SI is 0 0.999. In this case, SI should be clipped. However, if approximated division results, the result is 1.001 due to the approximation error of 
SMPC SI would not be clicked, and the privacy guarantee of DPSGD would be destroyed. To resolve this issue, we design a secure inverse of square root protocol based on general linear sequential protocols and prove an upbound of the approximation error. At first, we decompose input x as x star and 2 to the exp, where x star is in the interval 0 0.5 and 1, and the exp is an integer. After, we use a low order polynomial to approximate 1 divided by the square root of x star and the square root of 2 to the exp. We then multiply the two computation results to obtain the output. We also prove an approximation upbound of our approximation polynomial is smaller than is 0 0.0048. Then we minus 0 0.0048 from the approximation results to ensure that all approximated values are smaller than the true values, such that all gradients that should be clipped to be clipped. For the generation of Gaussian random noise, we directly use a secure noise generation protocol proposed by DWOG and others. Combining our proposed secure inverse of square root protocol with the secure noise generation protocol, we can extend the existing secure SGD protocols as secure DPSGD protocols. Next, I will present our optimization methods. I first show that it is still impractical to securely and privately chain an accurate end to end new deep neural network models from the perspective of differential privacy and the SMPC. From the perspective of differential privacy, the gradients of deep neural network models are mainly high dimension and have many redundant parameters. Adding noise to these redundant parameters would cause extra accuracy loss to neural net network models. Basically, and others also theoretically prove that differential privacy implies extra loss with, an, with a low bound linear in the dimension of the gradient vector. Recent, study also, recent studies also provide some empirical evidence. You and others empirically show that the accuracy gap between differentially private and non private deep neural, deep neural network models still keeps more than 15% for self -artism. From the perspective of SMPC, of SMPC on the one hand, deep neural network models have many redundant parameters to fit the data. Learning these parameters requires a large number of computation. On the other hand, to complete one fixed point number multiplication based on six sharing, it is necessary for parties to exchange messages. Therefore, securely training a deep neural network model would cause a very large communication overhead. For example, a, recent, a recently proposed GPU-based MPL framework Crypto GPU still need, needs more than 10 days and more than 200 TB communication overhead to train a VGG16 model on CIPATA. Therefore, we propose to separate the future extraction and the classification model training to simplify the structure of trained models. The data independent future extraction extractor can be heuristic rules or pre trained foundation models. After future extraction, parties collaboratively train a shallow model on extracted features. As foundation models train on, train on large scale public data and the classical future extraction rules can effectively extract futures of data, parties can obtain an accurate model based on the extracted futures. Next, I introduce our proposed local data based global model initialization method. An, an accurate initial global model would significantly reduce the number of iterations in the global model training process. Therefore, we propose to utilize local data held by each party to initialize an accurate global model. That is, parties first use their own local data to train local models. Then parties run the secure aggregation protocol to aggregate local models at the initial global model and run secure DPSGD to further train the initial global model on a logically global data set. To aggregate local models from parties as an accurate global initial global model, we propose two aggregation strategies. The first one is averaging strategy, that is, averaging local models as parameters of the initial global model. However, when data are not identical and independently distributed, 
initializing the global model by averaging local models might cause the accuracy of the initial global model to be lower than local models. Therefore, an alternative strategy is the accuracy strategy, that is, choosing the most secure, uh, sorry, choosing the most accurate local model as the initial global model. We implement PEA on two open source MPL frameworks, TF encrypted and the Chaichao as TF encrypted Epsilon and the Chaichao Epsilon. We tested these two frameworks on three datasets. MINIST and the CIFAR 10 are image datasets, and the IMDB is a text dataset. For MINIST, we use differentially private LINET as the baseline. For CIFAR 10, we use differentially private VGG16 as the baseline. For IMDB, we use differentially private SampleNet as the baseline. The experimental results show that TF the Epsilon and the Chao Epsilon can balance the survey trade off among privacy, efficiency, and accuracy. For example, TF encrypted Epsilon and the Chao Epsilon can change a differentially private classifier on CEF for CFR 10 with an accuracy of more than 88% within 7 minutes and 55 minutes. To sum up, in this paper, we propose a secure DPSGD protocol and the two optimization methods to provide a quantitative privacy guarantee for, math, for, uh, for models trained by MPL and the balance the survey trade off among privacy, efficiency, and accuracy. That's all of my talk. Thank you. I would be happy to take any question. I had a question, Wen Kuang. So uh, I was wondering for the secure inverse of the square root, is there a way, the approximation error, is there a way to account for that error by kind of sweeping it under the delta term for approximate delta, like approximate DP? Like, can we account for it as like an increase in the probability of failure? Yes, that's true. OK. So like um, in the sense that we could give like an analysis that with probability this, with probability p, the accuracy will, it error will not be over this. Like the error will be an underestimating the clipping bound, so to speak. And then can we account for that uh, in the delta term then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. true. OK. Thank you. Thank you for the talk. Let's thank the speaker again. <laughs>